welcome back to another video today we are heading to Port Elizabeth there's another name for it I don't know how to pronounce it but we are heading there from Durban today we're gonna go and check it out we both have never been there before so we're super excited to see what Port Elizabeth is like we've got about a one and a half hour flight there and then we're gonna take you and show you around what's there as well And we just got our rental car. Jackson 2.0. We've got another Jackson. So we're gonna get in our car and we're gonna head to our apartment. It's pretty windy here. Apparently the Eastern Cape is known for its wind, but I think we're gonna be having sunny skies all week, so that's good. Turn right. All right, our first drive in Port Elizabeth. We are on the way to our apartment. It's 10 minutes away, which is pretty handy because we're tired and it's 4.15 p.m. This is the house. Kitchen area. Oh, some milk. And it seems like there's another little kitchen area. Yeah. Lounge. Dining table. Mirror. And another room bathroom it's very rustic looking what does everyone think about the accommodation very nice and very refreshing what do you think of PE? I know there's lots of palm trees mm. on the way from the airport mm. yeah it's cute it's nice cute town yeah it's very clean lots of palm trees beach and there's some access there right to the beach so we just dumped our bags and we're just going to quickly head down to the beach that's right out the front and see what the beach access leads to. I think it'll be a beach. Whoa. Check that out. What? This is beautiful. expectations from what we've seen so far we haven't seen all of it but from what we've seen so far it's very clean nice beaches nice buildings this is where we stay wow it's windy we just came to the lighthouse right over there and more ocean the wind just pushes these dunes around like it's nobody's business you can see it's even pushed it across the road and no one's been back to clear it yet. That's how swiftly they must all move around. Also, how beautiful does this sunset look? It's spectacular colors. Then you got this really dark lush green bush behind me as well. And then the ocean on the other side it looks really amazing here. It would appear that this is actually a functioning lighthouse, not just a tourist attraction because Either it's just got dark enough for us to notice or it's just lit up, but there's a light on top of there. Would have loved to have got here a bit earlier so we could have uh, seen if we could get inside there as well, but that's not going to happen this time. 
Good morning everyone. It's the next day in Port Elizabeth and it's a bit of a rainy morning this morning. We are on the way to an elephant park. We're going to attempt to do a self-drive. Not too sure if the animals seek shelter in this kind of weather so we'll just have to see how we go. Or if the roads are all muddy. Continue straight. We are at Addo Elephant Park and they asked us the question if we have a drone and we were honest and we said yes, we do have a drone in the car. We had to take it out and put it in this special bag and then they gave the drone to us in that bag and I don't think we can open it. Yeah, you can't open it. So we are entering the park. Hopefully we see some animals. Let's go. So far there's been a lot of really dense bush and you're literally driving in a column of non-bush. Anything that you were gonna see would pretty much have to be on the road, but it's just starting to open out a little bit, which gives you the feeling that you might be able to spot something. Reckon we're gonna see an elephant? Well, the park is named Elephant something or other, so you would think there would be a lot of elephants. We've seen some warthog, and David saw um, some antelope but we still haven't seen any elephants. We've just seen elephant dung everywhere. Pretty fresh, but it seems like they've sort of moved in. We just saw some sort of antelope, we think. It got like curvy horns, but we need to Google what it is. And there's two zebras in the distance as well, which is so cute. A dazzle of zebras. There's actually quite a few. We have seen quite a bit of stuff so far. It feels different when you're self-driving. It's like, whoa, we spotted it, <laughs> as opposed to just the guide showing us all the time. Very chilly here too. It's probably, I don't know, 10 degrees. There's a big bump or whatever it is. It's like, nah, I'm out, bro. <gasps> Do you think he's gonna attack? It's a wild dog. David's just talking to the animal. What did it say back? Subscribe! Hi! Cutie pies! Elephant, finally! Right when we thought we were done, we've seen two more elephants. This one's just trudging down the road. Oh, it's going to that car. Oh, it's not. Looks unhappy, eh? It's shaking its head a lot. Can I stop you? No, 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 don't. So I've wanted to see an elephant this whole time and I was like, oh no, we're leaving. Probably not gonna see one. And now we've seen one and I'm like, this is kind of scary. <laughs> it's kind of scary not having a guide with you. Like when you're doing it by yourself, it's so much more terrifying. That car, feel sorry for it. Plus that thing could just sit on this car and we'd be finished. It's like twice the size of JT. It's like, I'll just stay in the middle of the road and yeah, you are not going anywhere. They're such funky animals. Their trunk is just everywhere. So cool. That was so terrifying. It was way more scary than I thought it was gonna be. But what an experience. We were just about to leave the park and then we just saw a whole heap of elephants. So now we've seen elephants, buffalo, antelope, zebra, warthog. We've seen a whole bunch of animals so that that's been an awesome morning in PE and an awesome way to finish off our time here in PE because yeah. now we're headed to Mossel Bay we really wish that we could stay longer in PE but unfortunately we have to keep going 
We would highly recommend coming to Addo Elephant Park. We saw a lot of other animals besides just elephants, but it would be good to stay the whole day if you can. Pack a picnic. Spend the whole day. There's some nice camp spots, picnic spots, all of that. Shop. All right, guys. Well, that's it for this video. We hope that you enjoyed our 24 hours in PE. I'm sure there's a lot more to this town, but that's all we could see for this video. If you did enjoy the video, don't forget to like, and we will see you in the next one.